jeans are way too tight. Why do I hit record when I'm not ready to film? I don't have a coffee. I do not have a hot beverage to sip. It's weird. I don't know, it doesn't have the same magic. Hi, come on up. Haha, <laughs> it arrived. <laughs> Hi friends, joyous candle nights to you all. Happy holidays, happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Yule, whatever you fancy. If it suits you, Merry Christmas. In true me fashion, I'm going to do a last minute holiday tutorial. Cause it wouldn't be the holidays on my channel without a little added anxiety and stress. It's funny, I did pre-film a bunch of stuff for this month, including the final video of the year, which is already done. But I really wanted to have a fresh hairdo and get the nails themed out. I'm mean, a little retentive, what can I say? So today is going to be just a full on holiday glam. I want to do the full meal deal, red and green and glitter and loads of blush, a classic red lip, full on Christmas on my face. This whole holiday season, I've felt the need to get into the Christmas spirit more than average. And because I'm feeling generous, I'm going to gift you an entire full face of makeup today. Don't know if that's what anyone asked for for Christmas this year, but you're getting it anyway. Plus a couple of new Sephora goodies finally finally arrived in the mail. All right, I think we're just gonna dive right into the holiday glam and get a move on. So if that sounds like fun to you, then please keep on watching. Grab your holiday beverage of choice. If I could choose, this would have Bailey's in it. And let's get started. Today, I wanted to start with eyes first. I just thought it might get a little messy, mostly because I want to incorporate some glitters. Haven't picked up one of these in a while. These are from Glam Goth Beauty. Hands down, coolest brand ever. So I thought we should just be safe and handle the eyes first before diving in to the rest of the face. I forgot to wet my sponge. Already off to such a great start. <laughs> Christmas is the only time of the year that I can put red and green in an eyeshadow look together and not be laughed at. I think I wanna do a nice big red crease, deepen it up right in this outer corner and I think we'll transition into green onto the lid and then I want to do a really bright glittery white inner corner. We are not going for subdued today folks. I think I will start with sugar pill. Love Plus is just a really good red to start with. It's a classic. This is a good one to map things out with as well. It's not too overly pigmented or powdery so I can really sketch things out. I think I'll actually switch to a smaller brush just to get a bit more precision. Then I'm gonna take a clean brush and go over these edges to blend that a little bit better. I know I pulled this out last year and I know it's discontinued because I just love this palette so much. Let's pick up Corazon and make this red a little richer. Moving right along, I wanna deepen everything up with a blend of these two right here, Sangre and Valorio. I'm actually gonna tap back into Corazon a little bit along with Sangre, just to lighten up this transition a little bit. Going back into Corazon and giving that a little blend in between. And I'm gonna cut the crease here. So I do want a little bit of contrast, which is why I am taking that darker shade very far in to the inner corner. Let's cut a crease. Right now, this is very similar to last year's holiday tutorial, which I will link up here. But this year, because I wanna do a green lid, we're gonna cut the crease. Oh my God. And I wanted to cut it with white because I really want that to be nice and bright and get a good canvas for the green to really pop. I'm gonna take some of this BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer in white. And I always stare straight ahead while stamping the shape out first, because then you know when you look straight ahead, it'll actually be visible. And then I want to try and blend out this edge by taking the brush with no product on it and then patting out the edge with my finger. I'm gonna tap over this edge a little bit with some of those darker red shades. Reinforce that a little bit more on the edge. All right, and then to start blending in some green, let's start with Emerald City from the ColourPop and Raw Beauty Christie at First Sight palette. I wanna start blending that in to the dark red. All right, moving on to the lid in the center. Let's tap into Alchemy from the Shroud Cosmetics Arcana Palette. So let's just get right in there. Oh my God. I'm just 
just gonna layer on top of that with a bit on my finger to get that more foiled effect. To brighten up the inner corner a bit, I'm gonna go in with Midori. I think I'm gonna layer on top a little bit with this Super Shock I have. It's called Cusp from ColourPop. Super Shocks aren't usually that overly pigmented, but they act as a really nice lid topper. Oh, you know what would be a good red that I just should have used from the beginning? Is Flavor Town, baby. I think I'm gonna just run around the edges with a bit of white. All right, moving on to some glitter in the inner corner. It's a toss up between Cherub and Moon Veil. I think Moon Veil shifts a little bit orange. So I think I wanna go with Cherub actually first before doing that. Let's take Lumos and give this inner corner a bright white base. I think I wanna do the same with the brow bone as well. Now let's go in with our diamond primer. Tapping a little pea-sized amount, and then I'm gonna dip this little brush right into the glitter and press it right into the diamond primer. So magical! I'm gonna tap a little bit of that primer onto the lid and let's just tap gently over the lighter green. All right, I'm really happy with that. That was a lot of steps, but I think it paid off. It looks really good. Now the fun part of recreating that on the other side. I'm gonna do that off camera and then when we come back, we will continue on with the rest of the face. Other side is done, lashes are on. These are Alter Ego by Bold Face. I love these ones because they're really dramatic, but they're also really wispy. And so it doesn't completely hide the eyeshadow. Let's just do the rest of the face. I thought I would just do this on camera because I rarely do this. Plus I have a couple new things to try, which I'm very much looking forward to. I had to go and wipe my face clean of as much loose glitter off my face as humanly possible. So any skin prep I had on before is now completely gone, but that's okay. We have a new base to try. I picked up a travel size of the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched face pace. And I've always wanted to try it, but the price tag just always turned me off. But for a travel size, I felt like I could splurge on that a little bit just to see what the hype was about. I've used this a couple times off camera and I gotta say, it feels really nice. Not tacky or sticky, but just really soft. And the smell is very distinctly Kevin Murphy hair products. If you've ever had a Kevin Murphy hair pomade, it smells exactly like this. I wanted to give the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer another try. I feel like I did not give it a fair shake the first time. If you haven't seen the most recent video, I'll link it up here. It was a drugstore haul. And with everything else going on, I just could not get a firm grasp on how I felt about this product. You know, it does do a little bit of smoothing. Maybe I just didn't use enough the first time. I always err on the side of sparing with products because if you put too much on, then you can't really take it away. But I guess maybe I just didn't use enough because I'm definitely seeing that pore blurring effect now. No new foundation today. Just gonna slap on my favorite foundation right now, which is the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. This is definitely more my summer shade. And then for concealer, I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Okay, base looking pretty smooth, if I do say so myself. Let's do some cream contouring. I was supposed to try this out in my last video and I just completely forgot that I had it. And this is the Catrice Triangle Artist Contour Stick. I got it in the shade Warm Brown because it's the only shade that they had at Shoppers when I picked it up. Now I'm too scared to just put the stick directly on my face. So we're going to use a brush and blend it in that way. Ooh, that's pretty. And that blended like super easy. And it's actually not really that warm. Okay, this time I'm actually gonna put the product on the back of my hand and pick it up with the brush. I love that, that's gorgeous. Let's see what happens with the nose. And then I'm gonna blend that out. Cute, oh my gosh. All right, let's powder her down. 
This is such a nice combination of base products. Skin looks smooth. Pores are very much visibly reduced. I don't think I talked about the Fenty Pro Filter setting powder in my favorites video, which is coming out next week, but it seriously is the best, the best setting powder. Just to brighten up in this area, I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Powder Foundation. Very full coverage today. If that's not your bag, I totally understand. All right, I'm really excited about this. I've been waiting for so long for this to come in the mail. The package actually just got lost at one point and I had to reorder. This is the Melt Sculpt Stack. This is the light medium bronzer powder. We'll go in with that first, I think. Ooh, you really, really don't need a lot. It is very pigmented. Now for the nose, I think I'm actually gonna hit up the light medium contour powder. That is a really good color for contour. I should probably use contour more often. I normally just use bronzer kind of like a contour. I just always find that contour for lighter skin people always ends up looking just really ashy on me and almost gray in tone, but the nose looks great. Just hitting things up with a little bit of ambient powder. Blush, okay. First, let's go in with something a bit pinky. I wanna look really flushed and rosy for this look. Kind of like you've been out in the cold and so your nose and your cheeks get all nice and like red and flushed. And if you're new here and you think that this is too much blush, well, you should probably stop watching because we're going in for blush number two. I love this blush for that really wind burned cheek look. This is Circus from Likely Makeup and I like to use it really sparingly layered on top of another blush. Oh, you thought we were done with blush. Oh. No. This step is totally unnecessary, but for the perfectionist, it really helps blend out the blush with the highlighter. Also, if you don't feel like going in with a highlighter, this is a really nice finishing step. Now that we're sufficiently rosy, we get to try a new highlighter today. I picked this up on one of the VIB Rouge sales. It's not new, but it's new to me. This is one of the Fenty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighters, which I've never tried before. I've never tried this formula, but I've always wanted to try Metal Moon and I'm really excited. Ooh, it blends out to like this vanilla opalescent glow. Oh my God. Oh my God, if I had filmed this before I filmed my favorites of 2020, this would have made the list. I never wanna stop applying this. This is so, so beautiful. I'm kind of floored because usually when something goes on sale at Sephora, it means that it was not a very popular product, but this is so gorgeous. I do not understand why this would ever make it to the sale section. Let me just slap on a couple of freckles. And I just realized now that I totally forgot to finish the eye look, so we're gonna do that really quick. Starting first with a little bit of Flavor Town, and then deepening up with a little bit of the dark reds from Melt. And then let's take a Metal Moon and pop it just in between the inner corner and the lower lash line. Let's try this ColourPop Creme Gel Liner from the Hocus Pocus Collection. It is in the color Black Flame Candle. All right, let's line the lips. Now for the piece de resistance, a classic red lip. You can't get much more overtly festive than a bold red lip. This is a really good one. This is Blood Rose from Glam Goth Beauty. Let's finally spray her down. And I'm gonna use the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray, which is new to me. Oh, that nozzle is not right. Let's try Milani Make It Last. She's a little full coverage and she's a little too glowy and she's a little crazy. And let's finish off with a little bit of bottom mascara. Okay, folks, this is the finished look. And I think this is about as Christmassy as I could possibly muster. I really wanted to go all out for this year's holiday tutorial because I think spreading some holiday cheer is just more important than 
ever. This is really fun. I got to play with a whole slew of makeup and I had a really good time. I feel pretty jolly. All the new stuff I tried was pretty fantastic. Can't wait to try this some more. Really looking forward to that. I wish I could go back and retcon my favorite products of 2020 because this would have to be in it. Also, this base concoction, very full coverage. However, it's looking pretty smooth. I think this is the first time I've ever gone a bit too ham with setting spray. I think it might have been the Hydra Grip because my face is actually shiny from that. It's like a layer of lacquer. I don't really mind, but it is a bit much. But all in all, I think this is super fun glam for the festive season. And I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this. And before I go, I just want to wish you guys a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate. I hope that it's a good one this year. And if you can't be there in person with your loved ones, I hope that you do get the chance to at least talk to someone you love this year on Christmas day and just be reminded that together or apart, people love you. Before I go, let me rattle it off to you. Here are the many ways you can help out my channel. You can give this video a thumbs up. You can comment down below what you thought of everything. You can subscribe. Any and all engagement for small creators is super crucial in helping them out with the algorithm. So if you have a few spare seconds, please engage, engage, engage. You can follow me on other social media. I will leave those right there. Please go check out my Patreon for other goodies, behind the scenes videos, get ready with me style, chit chat things. And there are some links in the description below box to help out with the Senate runoffs that are happening in January. And I think that's everything. All right, folks, whatever you're doing this holiday season, please stay safe, stay sane, wash your hands, wear a mask, stay home if you can. And above all else, be kind, be generous. And if that is too hard for you today, then just do your best. Happy holidays, folks. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.